my channel. If you're new to my channel, I like reading romance, fantasy romance, paranormal romance, any kind of genre of romance in general. And I also happen to have cerebral palsy. And it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe to my channel. Happy Monday! Today's video is going to be my favorite romance duet book recommendations. I saw Tori from Novel Life and just a piece of books do this video where they talk about their favorite romance duets and I thought it would that would be a fun idea. The first duet I want to mention is a new duet that came out this year and it's by Jennifer Hartman and it's called The Heart Strong Duet. The first book is called Optimist Guide to Heartbreak. The, the first book is called Optimist Guide to Heartbreak. The second book is called Pessimist Guide to Love and it's about Lucy and when Lucy was younger she she used to be best friends with her next door neighbors Cal and Cal's sister. They used to be neighbors for years but during their teenage years something happens to Cal's sister that caused Cal's family to move away. Years later, Lucy goes back to that small town she used to live in where Cal was her neighbor. She actually buys Cal's house and she actually applies to Cal's auto shop. And it's a grumpy sunshine romance. Cal is so closed off because of the tragedy he experienced as a, in the past with his sister. And Lucy just wants to be his friend again. And and Cal, Cal doesn't want to let her in, but there's something about Lucy and her personality that he can't help be attracted to. So it's their romance, Cal and Lucy, and I loved it so much. An Optimist Guide to Heartbreak is going to be one of my favorite books of the year. I loved it. I gave the first book, An Optimist Guide to Heartbreak, five stars. The second book of that duet, Pessimist Guide to Love, I gave four stars. So I really love this duet. The first book, I cried so much. It's really emotional, and if you haven't checked out this duet, I suggest you check it out. It's by Jennifer Hartman. It's called Heart Strong Duet. The next duet I want to mention is The Full Tilt Duet by Emma Scott. And I love her books by Emma Scott. And that duet is called Full Tilt. The second book in that duet is called All In. What the full tell duet is all about is Casey is in a famous rock band, so she's a celebrity. Um, and it's about Jonah, her limo driver. Um, Jonah worked for driving service, and he wasn't supposed to work that that day, but something came up, and his company asked him to to drive Casey around. 
because they they had nobody else. And it's the romance between Jonah and Casey. And I loved it. It's my favorite. I read this duet like three times. It's so emotional. It's one of my favorite books. It is my favorite duet by Emma Scott. I just love Emma Scott. And this is, this is the duet that led me to her writing. And I loved it. Jonah has a piece of my heart. Then if you read the duet by Emma Scott, you know why I say that. Jonah, Jonah is one of my ultimate, like, book boyfriends, my favorites. If I had a master list of book boys, would be on that list. The next duet I want to mention is the Anti-Heroes and Love duet by Gianna Darling. And I started reading Gianna Darling because of Jess from Peace Love Books. She's the first person I saw talk about Gianna Darling, and if you don't know what the anti heroes and love duet is, it's about it's a mafia romance, and Elena, who is the heroine, she made a promise to her sister, cause she loves her younger sister Cosma, and Cosma is best friend with a mafia mafia boss named Dante, and Dante is in tr on trial and Cosmo called Elena to represent Dante and it's their romance and I love Elena and Dante so much um it's grumpy sunshine where Elena is the grump and Dante is the sunshine and it's the story about how they fall in love and how Dante breaks Elena's walls down. The first book in the duet is called When Heroes Fall. And the second book in that duet is called When Villains Rise. So if you haven't heard about the anti-heroes in love duet, I suggest you check it out because I love these books so much. And the audio books are pretty great too. The narrator is Sebastian York. This duet I want to mention is the Consolation Duet by Corinne Michaels. And it's about Natalie. Eight months pregnant or nine months pregnant. I forgot. I read this duet a, a while, a really long time ago. Um, but her husband works at a security company he's a retired military but her husband dies so she's left alone and pregnant but her husband's best friend Liam made him promise that if anything happens to him that he'll take care of his wife in his place so Liam tries to be there for Natalie, even though she pushes Liam away in the beginning. They slowly form a friendship, and it, and it slowly turns into something more. If you're going to read this, do it. please read it and move on to the next one, because you will not. You will not figure out the twist at the end because it is a love triangle. That's all I'm going to say. Last books I'm going to mention is actually a series by Chloe Walsh. And it's a series, but the first four books follow two couples and each couple gets two books. And actually, the heroine from the first two books 
and the hero from the next two books are siblings. It's called The Boys of Toman, and the whole reason I wanted to make this video, the first duets are called Finding 13 and Keeping 13. It's about it's about Shannon and John. Shannon is comes from a really bad home life. Like her her father is very abusive to her mother and her siblings. So this duet can get pretty dark. And not only does she suffer severe like physical and verbal and verbal abuse at home. She suffers from bullying at school too. So she transfers to another school and she gets hit in the head by this rugby ball and the the person who happened to hit her accidentally with the ball his name is Johnny, and it's a, it's Shannon and Johnny. It's their romance, and I loved it. I listened to the audiobook of Binding 13, and, and then I listened to the other book on audio, which is Keeping 13, and it wrecked me. And I read this series from Nikki and Bookland, and I just wanted to say, I just wanted to say thank you to Nikki because these characters will stay with me forever. And then we have Saving Six and Redeeming Six. And we have Joey and Alfie's story. Joey is Shannon's older brother and Alfie is Joey's girlfriend and boy I thought I would I thought I would be emotional with Shannon's story because I knew what was going to happen but I was so emotional in Joey's duet he struggles with addiction he struggles with a lot of dark things, thoughts of suicide. Please check your trigger warnings but before you read the Boys of Tomlin series. All the stuff that happened. Tomlin, the Boys of Tomlin. Thirteen and Keeping Thirteen, from Joey's perspective, in Red in Saving Six and Redeeming Six, it wrecked me because I kept crying so hard like my my eyes were so puffy at the end so if you're gonna read anything from this list i mentioned please please read the the boys of Toman by chloe walsh again the it follows the first two books follow Shannon and Johnny, the next two books follow Aoife and Joey. And I just want to say thank you, Nikki, again, for recommending these books. These characters will stay with me forever. Those are all the romance duets that are my favorite. Please let me know down in the comments below if you have read any of these books. And recommend me a romance duet that you love that maybe I haven't read. I would love to know. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. That would mean the world to me. Please like this video. I'll see you Wednesday. Bye!